hey, this patient who came in for weight loss also has hormone issues, also has sexual health issues. We have the ability to cross sell them into all these other services from day one. Welcome to the Spinoso Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Alex Spinoso. My experience is in scaling all types of medical companies, and I'm sharing my journey with you. It's not a podcast telling you you should do this. It's telling you how I did this, and I hope it helps you. I want to help you build your business, take ownership of your life, and become a better leader at home and at work. And guys, I'd love to connect with you. If you want to check me out, dralexpinoso.com. Instagram is dralexpinoso. You can email your questions in to the show at questions at dralexpinoso.com. And as always, I have the amazing Amanda May with me. Hello. Hello. You're back <laughs> back in black. Back in Again, black. Again, we, we went I all went the colors shopping. for a couple episodes. And then we're back. You went, you went shopping? Is and this new? All, I bought all black. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? What is this? I, mm, tell me, darling. My favorite store mm -hmm. is Express. Oh, yeah. Express. It's my favorite. I, this everything fits well. I love it. And, yeah. They're always going out of business. Always. Like, <laughs> they have a 24-7, 365 going out of business sale. It's so, it's so interesting because out of everywhere I've shopped, it's like the one place I continue to go back to that yeah. I feel like I can find like classic. Well, classic I also feel like it's and... European cut a little bit mm -hmm. more. So people, it actually fits people that have athletic and normal bodies. And yeah. you're not going to a place that has like a square dress nowadays because it has to fit all the fat people trying to go and wear dresses <laughs> so it's very i, I like i liked uh, express and h it was it h&m and zara too i they, can't ever find anything like the same. in either one of those really mm -hmm. zara i only uh, that's the place I, I buy my you know regular pants versus uh you know pretty much anything else i buy at express yeah for the most part yeah, I feel but like Express has more business stuff too. So they do. They have a lot more like business and suits and stuff. But that that's a funny thing because that brand always I feel like cheapens itself. But it's always it's kind of like the JC Penny model where it's always again always something on sale. Oh, like, right. I will not buy something from there because I know the next month there'll be some sort of sale that's like fifty percent off this, fifty percent off that. And the clothing is still like moderately, I would say middle of the road, maybe middle low expensive. Mm -hmm. It's not really that expensive. Mm -mm. But that being said, I know that there's always like the $900 suit will be like $499. Yeah. During some sort of holiday. like Well, and then they always email out those like coupons. Like if you spend 200, you get 75 off or yeah. something like that. Um, so yeah, I, I'll go like twice a year. And buy like classic types of like plain pants, plain shirts, usually black, uh -huh. only because they can't find brown. I would love if I could find like a chocolate brown. So if anybody knows Ew. where to find chocolate brown, God. I would love to wear more chocolate brown. But why? They don't. That's hideous. I can't find the it. The black anywhere. and the white and the cream looks good on you. Why? Why you yeah. want to dress like a a giant turd? <laughs> Like now I'm never going to be able to wear brown. I'm good. Gonna always I, I look hope at I ruined it for you because that is a horrible color. <laughs> a horrible color. On it people. looks good the only on people me. Who can wear, like, I'm wearing it next time we film. No, That's it. no way. No. I have a the brown only people shirt who can my... wear chocolate brown, which is the same, uh, you know, only people that could wear like a bright yellow and it looked beautiful and classic is very dark Africans or black people where they look beautiful. Like Sean, Sean yeah. would look awesome in chocolate brown. I bet he looks fucking amazing in chocolate brown. I don't think brown. he has any. But you wearing chocolate brown, no, you just look like a mm. poopa doopy. I don't know. We're going to no, try it out. No. White people we're stay away take, from chocolate brown. We're going to take a vote. I'm going to wear it next time and see, <laughs> okay. see what the listeners have we to will. say. We'll put it to vote. We're going to put a vote. <laughs> we're going to put the black or the white or the cream up and then we're going to put a brown picture and we're going to say left or right. Yeah, yep. I think it's a great yep. idea. No, Stefan, you're gonna be like remember Mr. that. I don't want Mr. Hankies on the show. <laughs> I know. No. It's been so long since I heard that. That's funny. <laughs> right? Oh, um, gosh. But no, I, uh, yeah, we, uh, I have no idea where to go from there. No, I yeah. I just, I so, keep envisioning this brown outfit. The brown outfit. Like, well, we're no. going to go into. Amanda, no. <laughs> no. We're going to go into today's podcast, no, which is. It. Okay. Um, really, you had a talk at uh, Elite NP, mm -hmm. and it was really about how to make money in your medical business. And you, it was really well received. 
People were talking not only about how much they learned from you, but also how inspired that, that, that they were as well. So how inspirational it was. Um, and one of the points that you made was relevant to all entrepreneurs. And that's the importance of building out your products and services in a way that is vertically integrated. Mm -hmm. And so even if they only have one, one location. And so let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah. I think a lot of people in the med spa space or in the medical field, once they have something that is semi successful or something that they want to do, they start to try and do like five other things that are unrelated to that first thing. So a lot of the aesthetics clinics will start with Botox and fillers and then they'll add laser hair removal and some skin resurfacing and maybe weight loss and things like that. If you're doing weight loss, you'll add, again, start to do aesthetics, Botox and fillers and laser. And that's the problem with, I think, a lot of clinics is that become they become a jack of all trades and a master of none. And that was the problem with Genesis mm -hmm. at the beginning where we kept adding all these unrelated services or seemingly unrelated services. Really, they were services that other clinics were doing in the field. And so we were thinking, well, we'll just bring it all under one roof and do it all under one roof. And the problem with that is that you really dilute your brand, number one. Number two, the staff is more difficult not only to hire for because they have to know more things even if they don't know everything if you hire them you have to train them on more things so the onboarding is a lot longer the skill level is way higher that you have to have because they have to know multiple multiple different services instead of being really niche and great in two or three services so it was really hard to see when we were looking at our clinics they weren't really growing the way they should have been growing because they were just so spread out in terms of the services. The focus wasn't there. The language wasn't there. It was hard to build out 30 different standard operating procedures, which not only just include the way to provide the service from the provider standpoint, but the way to speak about it when you're on the phone and trying to book the patient, the way you're trying to sell it from the sales team, the way you're trying to following up from the follow-up after they get their treatment. It's a lot of extra mm -hmm. stuff. And as a result of that, the brand identity kind of diluted. So what I like to tell people is well, what we are now, we changed our pillars really just to focus on what we were really good at. So we got rid of things like laser hair removal and we focused more on weight loss, which has always been our staple. Along with that, hormone therapy. And those are almost like one and the same. If you're doing one, you should be doing the other. Men's and women's sexual health, which everyone that's got hormone issues and a lot of people that have weight issues have sexual issues, and then aesthetics. And aesthetics is a little bit of Botox, a little bit of fillers, depending on the location and the skill of the provider. But we also put um, our machinery in there, like our skin resurfacing and our Morpheus A and our M Sculpt Neo and our M you know Tone and the M Cella, all the machinery that we kind of put in that category however each one of those machines fits into either the weight loss the hormone therapy or the men's and women's sexual health every single one of them well yeah and i've even found being in the clinics that the sexual wellness somebody will come in for but it's really like they need to also be doing hormone replacement therapy or getting their weight under control and sometimes that helps with the original issue that they're coming in for. So right. they just really overlap well. They overlap really well. Yeah, that's part of treating the underlying disease for the patient that's coming in, not just, you know, what they need, not necessarily just what they want. Because what they want might just be uh, erectile dysfunction treatments, but they need hormone therapy to help with their erectile dysfunction and help with their erectile dysfunction treatment. So making sure that you're speaking to the patient on that. And a lot of times they don't know. I mm -hmm. mean, it's like when you really educate them on the the aspects of their health and wellness overall it's like they're excited because they're like oh, i never thought about the fact that i would have low hormones and then that or you know my hormones need balanced and then that would actually help this issue too so um i found people to be super grateful when you give them some options that give them a more whole package um, to their healing. Yep, exactly. And so making sure that ex what you said was exactly on the, on 
you know, you hit the nail on the head is making sure that you have uh, packages and that's part of being vertically integrated or stacking. If you're in sales, it's called stacking business owners, vertically integrating, putting like with like. If you have a patient who's coming in for weight loss, you're talking to them about the hormone therapy and how it affects their weight loss. If you have a person coming in for sexual health, like you just said, you're talking about the hormone therapy and maybe even their weight and how that's gonna affect their stamina, their energy, their desire to have sex. And then you have you know, the machinery as well, if they're coming in specifically for an m chair that helps with pelvic therapies, how does that affect the you know sexual health of both men and women? How's it gonna help ED? How's it gonna help urinary incontinence? How's it gonna help with even your ortho patients, balance and things like that? So making sure you have packages that list every single one of these things out in a treatment protocol so that you're able to treat multiple people in that same field. Yeah. So really, whatever type of business you own, whether it's the medical business, and I talked about what I'm doing, but if you run a, let's say a marketing agency and you're offering, you know, social media postings where it's Instagram and uh, maybe Facebook postings, and you should be looking at the other things too. You know, can you offer in the package LinkedIn posting? Can you offer in the package, you know, videography? So it's not just, hey, we're just going to post uh, still pictures for you. Can you, because anybody could do still pictures. And again, you're going to be rendered a moot point if everybody else is doing what you're doing exactly, and they could do it cheaper and faster. Hmm. So can you do video editing on top of that? Can you then run ads for people for their business? Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads. Uh, do you have more of video production to run their YouTube channels, to run their maybe uh, training platforms for their own business, things like that? So that would be what a marketing company needs to expand on. A lot of times marketers will get the leads in for you. Oh, I could get you 100 leads and they don't have any support on the backside. In fact, even my uh, marketing company that I work with right now in Genesis, we spend, uh, gosh, like $3 million a year in ad spend with, and their management fees are probably 10% of that, almost $300,000, and they don't have a platform to work the leads hmm. at all. They just shove leads down your throat, which is good because we have a platform to work the leads, DEF CON 1 marketing, um, Shameless plug, you can go on there and get it <laughs> for your clinic. But at the same time, like that's something their service should have either had or included or was an upsell. It's an easy vertical. Every single person that is going to them paying for that marketing needs the leads to be worked automatically. And then along with in the clinic, working the leads. So there's, there's things that you can put into your business that are vertically integrated. And most people just think, nah, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to add that when it may not take a lot more money to be able to add that and lower your cost of goods way down. It reminds me of a book I read, uh, Acres of Diamonds. Okay. Have you ever heard of it? No. Okay. I don't remember who wrote it. Uh, Stefan, do you, can you look pull up, that up? Look up who wrote Acres of Diamonds. Acres of Diamonds. Uh, Russell Conwell. Okay. So this book is fantastic because it's all about uh, this land that this guy owned. And after he sold it, they found that it was full of diamonds. It was acres and acres of diamonds. And so the whole premise and the, really the takeaway behind the book was about what you're sitting on. Like you have everything you need if you look where you're at. So instead of like looking at somebody else's land going, let me, let me take that and that I need that tree or this plant or whatever. And no, it's like everything you have is right here. And it just like taking what you have, taking what you're excellent at, and then expanding what land you're on and making it the best it can be, because there's always diamonds to be found if you look right where you're at. And so it just kind of makes That's me great. think about people who are focused on your, your vertical in integration, like what's right here, what's at my fingertips that I'm sitting on that could make me a lot more money. That is my diamond in the rough, if you will, that I haven't thought about, but really can make me wealthier. Yeah. That's make so me the money. And so along that, that acres of diamonds idea, let's, let's unpack that. So if you're trying to do weight loss in your business, don't 
look at aesthetics. Don't look at some sort of uh, Morpheus 8 skincare machine. Don't look at a laser hair removal machine. Start with what you have. Start with your acres. So you have GLP-1s. Everybody knows about them. They're the gold standard for weight loss right now. And on top of GLP-1s, you should have a bunch of other medications that you can use as well. So you have the injectable and the oral GLP-1s. And then you can have your different types of pills that are good with weight loss and have always been good with weight loss. So weight loss adjuncts, you have your Phentermine, your Topiramate, your Metformin, your Contrave, which is now Trexone with Bupropion. You can have what's called Bella capsules, which kind of have a mixture of almost all of those in one capsule. All those drugs can be stacked on top of what your GLP ones already are. Then you can look at the other things that can help the patient. You can have different supplement programs, and those supplements can be sold in your clinic. Mm -hmm. You have, because you want your patient to be on a high protein diet, you want them to be getting their greens, you want them to be getting their fiber because the GLP ones and weight loss in general meds, you know sometimes dehydrates you a lot, but will also slow down your gut motility. So you want them to be on these supplements to help support that. You want them to be on probiotics to make sure their gut flora is as healthy as possible to help with digestion, to help with motility. Beyond that, guess what? These patients, they're usually overweight. They're middle-aged males or females, which probably has some sort of hormone issue, females have had multiple babies before, or even if they haven't, they're perimenopausal or premenopausal or postmenopausal. On the male side of things, they go through andropause, which is the same thing as menopause, but for men mm -hmm. and their androgens. So their testosterone is lowering down, female testosterone is lowering down. So you should be checking that as well, doing blood work for that, correcting that. And there's a bunch of classes out there that can teach you how to correct that, how to do that in as simple as a few days, and I know that's scary. Well, a few days. Well, you have all the history of science before that. As a medical provider, you can figure out things in a few days and then continue to improve your your aspect of, uh, of learning and growing. On top of that, so you've got your uh, medications already and a list of medications that you can possibly provide. You've got the diet plan and the supplements that you can provide. The third thing is the hormone replacement. Then on top of that, what else can you do? Well, you can go and partner with local gyms and talk to them and say, hey, these are the medications I offer. I will send people to you to work out. You send people to me to balance their hormones and help with their weight loss and combined, we'll get patients and clients really great results and they're gonna continue to go with both of us because you can't provide the meds and I can't provide the gym. Mm. So you can partner with these other groups, these other fitness groups, online fitness groups, etc. On top of all that, then you can start to ask the questions or even in your uh, intro, you can ask the questions about sexual health. Do they have issues with that? Do they have issues with getting or maintaining erections? Issues with sexual intercourse? Does it hurt? Is it painful? Anything like that? Do they have urinary incontinence? When they cough or sneeze, do they pee a little bit? Do they have to worry about not being able to hold it? Do they have to worry about getting up four, five, seven times a night to go to the bathroom? And so those are all things that you can ask about that you have sexual health solutions for them. And then you can layer all of those, and each one of those can be layered with you know, a, sh a machine that can help. With your weight loss, you have you know, Cool Sculpting, Cool Tone, or my favorites are the M Sculpt Neo or the M Face to help build muscle while they're losing weight. Best packages ever. And then you have your uh, sexual health and wellness patients that you, know, you have your P Shots, your O Shots, your Gains Wave, your Femi Wave, your m -fem. and then you have your m -cella chair where they could sit on it and help with the pelvic floor therapy, increasing erections, increasing the uh, strength of the pelvic floor in females so they don't have urinary incontinence, helping with orgasms, things like that. So everything can be stacked on in a stacking or vertically integrated way. And I'm not saying to the weight loss patient who's having sexual health issues, hey, what about like laser hair removal therapy? Mm -hmm. 
because it doesn't make sense for us to do that. It doesn't make sense for you to do that if you're going to add that. And then again, more training, something that's out there. And then it starts to be scammy or upselling because you're just talking about things that are completely unrelated to their original problem. And that's how you can get away from that. You know, you're thinking through every detail of how you could provide value to the customer, not just to help them achieve their goals, but to help them maintain their progress afterwards. So once they've started to work with you, nothing that we do is a cure. People forget that. They think like, oh, doctors, you know, we're, or nurse practitioners, we're gods. We can do whatever we want. And when I touch a patient, they get better forever. They don't. Like you constantly need to maintain your body the way you would maintain your car or your house or anything else that needs any type of maintenance. Like if you went out every day and didn't do your makeup or your hair or showered or, you know, put on the same clothes every single day, eventually that clothes would get tattered and you might have some, uh, you might get dreads. That yeah. actually be, <laughs> might, might be kind of cool, but you'd have dreads because they'd be so dirty and sticky and shit like that. And you just sort of break down. Your teeth would rot because you're not cleaning them. Yeah. And so you have to maintain your body the way you would maintain a car or anything else. And part of that is if you want to stay fit, you want to stay healthy, you want to age gracefully and be as young as possible and look like you're 20 in your 40s, then it's part of that maintenance where these patients are coming back and staying on maintenance doses of GLP-1s. They're staying on the m Neo to help continuously build the muscle and, and fight sarcopenia, which is the loss of muscle as we get older, mm. which happens no matter what, but it can be competed against. It can be fought. You don't have to worry about that when you're on these machines. You can you don't have to worry about reduction in you know sexual desire, sexual health with your P shots, your O shots with well-balanced hormones, with the M cell chair. And what you're doing is offering them the actual solution to their problem over a long period of time that once you solve their problem, they will continue to stay with you. I mean, you presented it at the right time. They were ready to buy. They wanted what you have or they want what you have. And if they walk out the door, they still want what you have. They just have to make it work. So following up with them and making sure that it's very relational and not transactional is going to be a huge difference. Yeah. And one of the things that we offer at Genesis is the in-body scan. Like mm -hmm. we didn't talk about that, you know, You're and absolutely right. That's a great way to, and, and I, I believe that's complimentary every time somebody comes in yeah. it's a great it's way to packages. show people the results. Mm -hmm. It's not like, Hey, I think you lost weight or maybe the scale numbers didn't change a lot, but the body composition changed a lot. Maybe you gained muscle and lost fat, but maybe the number on the scale didn't change. And it's like exactly. you can really show people that they're getting the results and it's a nice like add on. It's a bonus that they're getting to take home with them so they can see their progress. And the more you show them their progress, the more likely they are to be excited about the process um, because the process is a journey is what I hear you saying. It's the long term. Um, but they can also see that what they're doing is working. So giving that like boost of confidence, like this is actually getting me where I want to go. Yeah. And not necessarily be, being focused just solely on the number on the scale, but overall wellness. It's easy to talk about uh, overlapping these things too, when you're what, let's say somebody comes in for weight loss, but then you want to introduce them to the hormone replacement therapy. Well, then including blood work in the, in the offer. So it's like, Hey, let's just see, let's see where you're at and see if we need to, to do some work in the hormone replacement side too. So it's a great way, or if they're coming in for hormone replacement therapy, get them on the in body so they get a chance to see what their body makeup is actually, what it looks like. So they have, so they have some information and it's not necessarily emotional driven, but data driven. Um, and then that helps to show the results that they're actually getting working with us too. Yeah, that's huge. And in any business, exactly what you're describing is what's get, what gets measured gets managed. So if you're consistently following up and figuring out their weight, their muscle, their fat, they're standing on the in body, you could talk with them about those levels every single time. Mm. You're measuring them. You're showing them how it's improving. And you should do that with any part of your business, 
whether it's your profit and loss sheets, whether that's your, you know, patients and clients and where they are in the journey with you, you should consistently be having some sort of program or steps to consistently measure what you're providing for your patients. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's just another uh, way to create the value that you're talking about. Exactly. So really the next steps after, you know, you have an idea, I want to do uh, weight loss and I'm going to do GLP-1 medications. And you should really do this for every aspect of your business, whether it's your business itself, just on a whole from a 10,000 foot view, or every single one of the services inside your business. And what you want to do is create a spider diagram. So really quick, if you think of a spider diagram, the if you draw a circle in the middle of a piece of paper, that is the body of the spider. And inside that circle, you put your service, let's say weight loss. And out from that circle, you draw lines, which are like the spider legs. And at each of at the end of each of those lines, you draw or write a service that you can provide that pertains to, let's say, weight loss in the middle. So GLP-1s, all the meds, topiramine, uh, fentermine, each one of those is a spider leg. If you're going to do machinery, M-Sculpt Neo with M-Face to build the muscles of the face, build the muscles of the body. Uh, if you're going to do uh, supplements, you know, the different types of supplements you would need, high protein, probiotics, uh, gym memberships or associations with gym, associations with maybe a, a local food creator, somebody who's a chef who preps meals for people or healthy meals for people that you can connect with. And every single one of those spider legs, you should either focus on finding a vendor who can you can connect with and have some sort of relationship to where oh, I don't know what to eat. Why don't you go over to you know Sally's Baked Goods or you know Sally's uh, Clean Eats Kitchen, and she'll help you decide meals. You can just buy the meal straight from her. It makes sense because it's cheaper. It's six dollars a meal, but if you were to go out, it would be at least ten with tax and tip. Even if you're going to McDonald's nowadays, <laughs> it's that expensive. So making sure that they're eating right or the supplement store. Hey, I can, if you don't want to carry supplements, hey, I have association with the local supplement store. Mm. We'll send you patients, they'll send us patients. Or the gym, same thing. Sending clients over, doing a lot of those people want weight loss and hormone therapies. That's why they're there at the gym. They're usually not there to swing their wieners around and try and uh, do <laughs> sexual shit. Uh, it might be a different gym than what you're used to. But... That being said, they're there to feel better about their lives, weight loss, hormone therapy. And so, yeah, they maybe they have more stamina during sex. So those patients can be, again, pushed back and forth. And writing, filling out that spider web diagram is the same thing you should do. Let's just work on your business. So if you wrote your the name of your business in the middle and you drawed out spider legs to every single one of your vendors, remember, all your vendors are your partners as well. They have a cost of goods or a service that you have to buy from them in order for you to provide whatever service you are doing in your medical clinic. And most people don't realize that. Like, okay, if you didn't need them, then why are you paying them for anything? You need them, period. They are your business partners. They want you to succeed because if you don't succeed, they're going to stop getting paid. So making sure you're going to them and saying, hey, what other services can I add that you've seen that add a bunch of money? What other things can I market that you've seen that can add money? What are all the things that I can improve upon and stack, vertically integrate with what I'm already doing that you have seen work or add money or can add money? And they want to tell you that. They want to share that information with you, not only because you're not their only vendor. They have a bunch of other vendors, so they have the insight about it. But they want you to win. The more you win, the more you spend with them. And you both create this win-win situation. And here's the best part. Whatever you are already marketing in the first place, you don't have to add marketing to it. We only heavily market weight loss and M-Sculpt Neo and m -Sella. That's it. Otherwise, the weight loss patients that come in, we ask them 
and about hormone therapy and we do their blood work to check their hormones already as part of our service, as part of what we do. We also ask sexual health questions when they first walk in the door as part of their intro so that we know, hey, this patient who came in for weight loss also has hormone issues, also has sexual health issues. We have the ability to cross sell them into all these other services from day one. It doesn't increase our ad spend in any way. And if we want to get more patients or get more clients, we just increase our ad spend and weight loss. It lowers our cost per lead because we're hyper-focused on what our ads need to say. And those patients are going to walk in the door and then you can talk about the other services that you offer. And as a result of that, you're going to get a fairly good amount of people to cross-sell. Most big companies, whether it's LaserWay or Ideal Image or European Wax Center, more than 80% of their income comes from existing client base. Look at four hymns. They did not make any profits until this year, 2024, Q1. For years and years and years, they lost money. But it was built off the backs of people who kept coming back, recurring recurring, recurring. They were only focused on one number and it was the amount of new users they had on their platform. They didn't care about making money because they knew the more users that they could get on their platform at some point, it would trigger and catch up and they would become net positive. Now, most businesses can't do that because it was a publicly traded company and they can use the stock and you know the investments of people to run that way. But you got to start thinking about that. Where the more users you get on the platform, the more people you get in your doors, the more that are going to buy. And if you keep them coming back over and over and over and over and over, the bigger your company is going to expand. Well, yeah, and even offering like the packages, I, I mean, I think the the long term solution there is not just getting them in and hitting their weight loss goal, but maintaining that follow up in that relationship that you're talking about, not transactional. OK, we got you to your goal and that's it. But relational, like how else can we make your life better? People come in because they want more happiness. They want more fulfillment. They want to feel more confident about themselves. So finding that long term solution to continue to increase those things in their life and it's like after they get done and they've seen the success in one area, maybe at the beginning they didn't sign up for anything else, but now they're feeling more confident because they have lost weight. So now maybe they do want to go ha start having sex again or, you know, so now they're interested in the sexual wellness side. So it naturally flows from one aspect of the business into another, even if you don't sell them the whole package up front, which is also really nice to show somebody the long term, like, hey, over the course of a year or six months or whatever that time frame is, here's what we could do for you. Um, but if not all up front, then piece by piece, but that average value of the customer continues to go up and then they're going to go out and they're going to tell their friends if you treat them right you do business with integrity and you have empathy for what they're going through and then you can really solve their problem they're going to go out and be the marketing the, the word of mouth is i think to this day no matter what kind of wonderful marketing tactics we have that's the key right there is, is word of mouth. And so when you get these people that can go out, leave you five-star reviews, go tell their friends, get some sort of incentive to even get their friends in the door or their spouses. That's something else we see a lot where, you know, one spouse will sign up and then bring the other, the other partner in and then they start it because they're mm -hmm. seeing the wins that their, their partner's having. So it's like they get to go out and then they're bringing people in for you because they become raving fans. Absolutely. No, 100%. Well, I'm going to end on that because that was freaking killer. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, you have to remember, if you start with one service, don't add 50 other services. It's going to dilute your brand. It's going to dilute your focus. And I've gone through that before. I'm telling you from experience, I'm not just saying shit because I made this fucking mistake before. And I highly encourage you to not do it. Focus on one thing, then add something that's stackable on top of that service you're already delivering. No matter what type of business you're in, stay in your lane. Don't try and stretch out to other things. Do what you do 
really fucking good, be the best in the world at it, and then add another service that is in line with the patients or the clients or whoever you are serving exactly the same. So they need it too. You know they need that service too. And that's about it, guys. Anything else? You have any questions? Please email me, questions at dralexplanoso.com. Share the show, like, subscribe. Thank you, guys.